We're here in ALMA Memorial Stadium with Coach Jack Wright. Jack, we've taken a few more minutes to kind of process this game. What do you think looking back at this game today? Hard fought game. Uh, just like last week, you know, we the score wound up being pretty good in our favor, but I never really felt comfortable until the clock hit zero. It was hard fought. Give Hines a lot of credit. Their kids played extremely hard. Uh, they came down here with a lot of pride and they came down here to win the game. Um, but we played really well. Uh, you know, only two turnovers is, is, was kind of the key. Um, so just overall, uh, very pleased, not only with this game, but just uh, you know, our effort and our consistency throughout the year. Yeah, this was a game that had no playoff implications. Everybody's out of the playoffs. You could have had a team come in and lay down and neither team did that. They were all kind of quite surprised. No, no, no. We got some great kids. And, and anytime you play a football game, you know, the last thing on your mind is exactly what's on the, on the line. Every time you snap the ball, you need to be focused on your assignment. Our kids did that tonight. They played extremely hard. We've got some guys that laid it out for this for this school today, and uh, just proud of their effort. You're a former offensive lineman. You got to be proud of what that group did. You ran for 350 something yards of, of offense, uh, rushing offense. Yeah, you know that group um, just tickled to death with how we've been able to run the football all year. They are a very physical group. They take pride in being able to get a push up front. And that really shows off, you know, when a scheme is called, it doesn't really matter what the scheme is. If there's push, you're going to get positive yardage. That's been the case for us this year. And that, you know, sometimes it hadn't been a matter of what we're running uh, opposed to, um, you know, we're blocking it really well and getting it done. So, look, 352 rushing yards, that's incredible. That's a great night on the ground. It's going to be hard to lose a football game when you, when you produce like that. And your stable of running backs did a good job, I thought, maximizing yardage on each play. They were always squirming for an extra couple yards and squeaking and stuff back inside the hole to get more yardage, too. It's been really fun all year to see those three running backs really push each other. Um, there's been a lot of times this year where, you know, we've rolled three or four times during a drive. And that's just a belief that, that we have here that fresh legs, you know, when, when you come in in the middle of a drive with fresh legs, I believe that gives your offense a little bit of extra air. They've done that all year, but I think tonight what you saw was Terry on his last game. He played high school football on this game, on this field. Um, so his last game, probably ever on this field, you know, he ran with a little something extra tonight. You can kind of feel it on the side, and I'm extremely proud of him. Defensively, they got a, they, they totaled up uh, close to 400 total yards. It's kind of a weird game. I, I thought that they got some plays that, that weren't necessarily the way they were going up. But uh, I think overall defensively, you know, I think they only allowed 17 points. We had a pick six go against us, so they still were, were tough out there. Right. Defensively, you know, we've been a solid performance all year. I think, Don, and I'm going to have to, you know, confirm this uh, on some websites or whatever, but I think we got the second-ranked defense in the league. And uh, just coming into this year, that group, that whole side of the ball has really exceeded expectations. Um, the talent that we have over there, you know, we've really we've done a great job of maximizing that as a coaching staff. Those guys are prepared every week. It's fun to see that that side of the football play. Um, there's a lot of speed on that side of the football. A lot of very good athletes. I've said that, and uh, they're they're a joy to watch. I think in today's game of college football, when you limit teams to you know in that 250 to 350 range, those are incredible performances defensively with what offenses are doing these days. And we're able to get some takeaways and, and stop drives. So indeed, they've been really good in you know, the own red zone, keeping teams out of the, out of the end zone, making them really battle to get in there and make it that again. Right. I mean, that's just, you know, again, being prepared in those special situations, understanding what the offense is trying to do in a certain situation, potentially out of certain sets and personnel groups. Uh, they're, they're prepared, they're ready to go. It's an older group. You know, we're going to lose some of those guys. You talk about the linebacker group, we're going to lose some of those guys and some of, the, some of the guys in the secondary have played a lot of football here. So we're going to miss those guys. They played like an older group. You know, they played, you know, up to that expectations and a lot of times beyond. Your first season at Gulf Coast, uh, at least the regular season's over. What, um, what do you look back on and take out of this first year? You know, I, I, the thing that I'm really pleased with over the course of the year, I think we got a very consistent performance. And to me, that means, you know, we're hitting pretty close to, to our potential. Um, you know, we, we started out really well in most of the games. If you look back at it, even today, we, we kind of had a lot of fast starts. That's unusual even, you know, in my background. Um, that means we had a lot of kids that were ready to play at kickoff. 
So very pleased with that. Um, seven and two, I would have taken that, just to be honest with you, Don. I mean, we, there were some things that some things that needed to be addressed when we got here, personnel-wise, and kudos to our staff for doing as good as we could, you know, getting in here late, decently as far as recruiting goes. But even beyond that, um, I am tickled to death with where this program is. I'm, I'm excited about what this school offers student athletes. I'm excited about our facility. I'm excited about the academic support here. We're going to do very well in recruiting. We're going to do very well in recruiting, and I'm excited about the future. I think the first year, probably the most important thing you can do in that is a culture thing, is getting getting your way set into it, and I think you did a good job of doing it. Thank you very much. I mean, a lot of that goes to the coaching staff. As you know, the daily interaction, you know, with an assistant coach is where, that, that's in college football today, that's where you're going to make your head right. You're talking about coaches with the experience of Latrell Pollard and Brett Schufeld, who have been around the block and have been around kids. They know scheme, they know people. Um, their contacts are unlimited around the whole country. Um, and I'm, I'm mentioning those two, uh, but you, know, you talk about Rod Smith, who's an up and coming great coach. Um, Les George, you know, what he's been able to do with the offensive line culture here in five years is incredible. And, and also, uh, you know, Bam Bryant, you know, you see him every work, work every day, Don. He does a fantastic job with our receivers. And I've got to mention Blake Hall and Randall Agee and Caleb Magruder. Um, they're, they're first year coaching this year. Um, they came, came along with us. You're talking about some very passionate, very hardworking people, and you will hear their name in coaching circles in the next 10 years. They're going to make some waves, and they'll be, they'll be at some places and making, making an impact. And those three coaches are the, on kind of the low end of the, the food scale, their, our pay scale even, and, and you know, they're doing it because they love it and they want to do it in the future. So right. they've worked really hard this year. You know, finding people that work like that, that are bright, that have good personalities, that come to work with, uh, with a great attitude every single day, those guys are hard to find. We are tickled to death that they're here. Um, and they've, they've, it's been fun to really see them grow into the role that they've been assigned this year. So um, those guys have done a fantastic job. They keep us all organized. They make us look a lot better than we really are. So a special thanks to, to Coach Hall, Coach Agee, and Coach, uh, Coach Magruder this year. All right, Jack, I really appreciate it this year. It's been a good ride and look forward to what's coming ahead here with recruiting. And uh, we'll have signing day stuff coming up here before we know it. And uh, and spring practice, and it'll all start right back over again. It all starts over. I mean, I've kind of got the cycle down now a little bit, but I'm going to take a moment to breathe here and, and, uh, and reflect a little bit and, and try to make this thing as good as it can be. I'm going to sleep in Sunday morning. It'll be nice. <laughs> I think we all are. Thanks, Jack. Yep. We're on the field with sophomore wide receiver Sedevin Gray from Puckett. Sedevin played your last game here at AMA Memorial Stadium. What did today feel like for you? Uh, it felt great. Uh, it was kind of sad, but... I'm glad it ended well, and we had a great year this year. Uh, you guys finished seven and two today. You put up 45 points. The offense was really clicking today. What made y'all so effective? Uh, working hard on the game plan this week, and we're going out there and doing it to the best of our ability. What happened on your uh, touchdown play, the fade route there at the end? Uh, I had told Chance I was just like, I got you. You throw it up, bro, and he threw it up. I just had to go make a play for my team. I know they was waiting on it. Um, what did you see from y'all's defense today? It looked like they had them in check pretty much most of the day. Oh, yeah, our defense around the ball, and they was pursuing the ball great. And like I said, we work hard on offense, and, and defense work hard this week. And they just did the game plan and did it well. Look back on this year, what do you take out of it? Uh, growing as a team, coming together as brothers, and learning something not just in football and just life. All right, congratulations to Devin. We'll uh, see you around next year, I'm sure, somewhere. Thank you. We're on the field with... Freshman defensive back Shadaren Archie from Brandon Shadaren. Uh, you guys closed out uh, 2018 with a win, finished seven and two. What was uh, today like for y'all? Uh, today was good, knowing we can finish the season with a win, and we will have more to play for playoffs. But since playoffs was over with our host, we just want to come out and get a win. Um, defensively, I thought you had them in check most of the day. Why were you all so effective against them? Uh, Coach just told us to get out of them earlier, early in the game. So at the end of the game, it would be easy. They'll get tired. We we like we ready. What'd you see from y'all's offense today? They uh, they were in command most of the day. Uh, the big guys up front, they really move. They really move that D line. They were able to run the ball. Then with them running, it opened up passing. Definitely yeah. the uh, the O line was eating today for sure. Oh yes, yeah, so that's the best I ever seen them play today. What uh, what do you take out of this year? Finishing seven and two. When, looking back, what what does it feel like for you? I feel good. I, it just feels good knowing we get seven and two, but I think over the summer we can get work, get better, and finish better next year. 
congratulations to Darren. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it.